Hey guys, it's Rome, we're also known as Calvin, and this is The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, and we are here on this fire island. I'm trying to find a heart because they do this thing where, like, it's one and a half heart is, like, the lowest, for some reason, like, half your health, and it beeps at that point. Um, I actually, like, uh, just, like, started my first attempt at fighting the boss in, in Minish Cap, believe it or not, and that boss is tough. It's really tough, and you, like, I'm gonna need more bottles to fight it, there's, like, no doubt about it, and, like... It's like, it's like, it's not that it's like extremely tough, it's, it's like that it's, it's, it's like really, really difficult. But so like, I was just like, you know what, man, I'm just gonna take a break. I'm gonna play some, like, freaking Wind Waker 2. Thank you so much. It doesn't beep in sight because it doesn't want to be rude. I should read that book actually, that'd probably be a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the book. If you're reading my words, it means that I have fallen to fate. So look east to pick up my torch and take up my duty, Kyle. Hey, oh mystery, I wonder what happened of this isle. Basically, if you don't know in Minish Cap what happens is like there's like this gauntlet and like you have to beat the gauntlet then fight the boss and you can't just go back to the boss. I don't think they do that in other games, I, I'm not sure. We got a heart. Okay. I guess we can check downstairs for the, the fortune teller because I think that's what we're going to see is the fortune teller, right? Uh oh. Okay. I noticed on like the recordings as well, some of my voice, some of my like uh, commentary sounded pretty muffled. And sorry about that. I feel the presence on the other side of this door. Where's my stylus? Where did I put the stylus? There it is. Okay, good. Hey, I hear footsteps behind there, but this door looks pretty locked to me. What should we do? Hey, let's call out. Ready? Okay, call out something now, loud and clear. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. I thought they actually meant the gamepad. Hey! Hey, lady! Oh. Okay. Who's there? It is I, George McFly. No. Someone heard you. You did, Link. Are the monsters gone? Get me out of here. It's safe out here. Who are you? The fortune teller Astrid? Yes, that's right. My name is Astrid. I was sealed in here to hide from those monsters. I didn't foresee one thing. I can't open the door from the inside. I don't know who you are, but would you open it? Yeah. Thank you, and good luck, because this will be tricky. Did you see the map hanging beside the door? That map is somehow the key to opening the door. Unfortunately, only my assistant Kayo knows the secret of it. Okay, got it. So we have to find Kayo to learn the secret. Hold on, Astrid. We'll get you out of there as soon as possible. Making promises for me, Celia? That's what the fairies do in this game. They just make promises for you and then you have to like just follow through in it. The music here is mighty weird, right? It's very strange like like it's it's very Wind Waker. So Kaio's Kaio's journal was in here, right? It's very Wind Waker to like um no, it was in a different place. I was going to say it's very Wind Waker to like start to not start in a place that like to not start with a dungeon, like, you know what I mean? Because, like, in, in Ocarina of Time, I think you start with a dungeon, um, like, in the first area. If you're reading my words, it means that I have fallen to fate, so look east to pick up my torch and take up my duty. Look east. Uh, let's head east. east. Never eat smelly wheat. That's how you learn the north, south, east, and west thing. Look, how about this? How about you guys leave me alone for a second? I'm gonna try and bump into the street. Okay, I guess I'm not. What does this say? Summit Pat, approval needed for entry. Okay, so we need someone's approval. So I guess we keep heading east, because like, oh my god, what are you? Not a big fan of what you are, if I'm honest. Oh, is that him? A fallen adventurer, look, Link. Maybe that's I mean, that actually is him, actually. It actually probably is. Jesus Christ. Brute force will get you nowhere. It's a ghost. Get him, Link. <laughs> Wait, give me some warning before you come at me. I must look really bad, but I swear I'm not a bad ghost. Well, to be honest, he doesn't really look like an evil ghost. My name is Kayo. I used to work for Astrid, the fortune teller. 
Oh, just look what's become of you, poor thing. If you believe in fate, that is not so bad. I do feel much lighter. Uh, of graver concern, though, is what's happened to Astrid. It haunts me. We just saw Astrid. She asked to open the door. The locks are in. What? So Miss Astrid is alright? Well then, please open the door for me. I'll tell you the secret. The three, torch the three torches on this island are the key to understanding. Keep that in mind, and you may be able to open the door. One torch is here. Let's see. Please take care of Astrid. So he said like, wait, so... Okay, sorry about that. So all we have to do is literally just mark on our map where all the torches are. So... That's one of them, I think? So you just have to find the three torches on the map. So then, like, I guess we should just keep traveling around the place. Who knows what we'll find. Can you guys leave me alone for a second? Um... I'm not exactly quite sure where to go, but we'll find it. We'll, oh, here's another one. Here's definitely another one. Again, my, my, my voice is gonna sound muffled on the map. Wait, that's not it, is it? No, it's it's right here. Like I have to go wherever I have to go right up to. Again, I'm I'm, I'm looking down at the map. Um, it's right where Link is standing, around there. We can erase that. So there's one more. There's one more torch. Can I jump over here? No, there's a chest over there though. I gotta remember that. I do like the look of this game. It does feel very Wind Waker like. And I, I think Wind Waker was the easiest of all, not the easiest in terms of like difficulty, but like one of the easiest, like smoothest looking Zelda games to play. Like it felt like, it, it just felt like, like not one part of the game was a chore. Maybe the collecting of the Triforce, but like even at that, it was like, like it was only a chore because it compared to like the rest of the game. You know what I mean? Like it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been a chore if like, it wouldn't have been a chore if it like, if the rest of the game wasn't so freaking good. Oh, there's the gigga gigga. We love the gigga gigas. Wait, we're back here. Okay, let's keep tra let's go back up here because I think there was another way we could have gone. So when they say mark the look, okay, okay. Oh Jesus. At least he has a heart for me, actually. It's still gonna beep, though, I think. Um... So there might be one actually back here. Like, where we started. Actually, would make a lot of sense. I probably saw one and I passed it by and, like... Didn't even notice. Let's see. Um... Did you see a torch? Well, we can go up here, so maybe there's a torch up here. So I think I marked the three torches. Um, I'm not sure exactly if I got it exactly right, but it, like there is, there, there, the three, the three torches are in the map. It took me quite a bit to realize where the third torch was, but like it, it's, I think it was literally just. Uh... Hey lady, shit. Hey lady. Oh god. Hey lady. No. Oh wait. No, we have to mark mark him here. Oh my god, that was silly of me. That was a that was a silly thing to do. Okay, so here. Yes, got it right. Okay. That was really silly of me. <laughs> oh, hey. How's it going? Thank you for opening the door. I'm finally free to go outside again. You bested the monsters who guarded me, so you are no ordinary travelers. May I ask you your names? Of course. Link. It evokes kindness and strength in the same breath. Lovely name. Now tell me what brought you to this island. Um, a ship. Link is looking for his friend who was taken by the ghost ship. Astrid, we were hoping that you might have some insights. Is that so? The ghost ship came to our island a few days ago. That's why I was hidden away, to escape its ruinous reach. Speaking of which, I haven't seen Kaio since then. Astrid about that. Well, um, Kayo, he's... I see. I sensed it. Just as I foresaw, but it was his destiny. It was destiny. Well, life has little use for mourning, so Kayo thought. 
Should I tell you your fortune? Please. Please wait for me upstairs. If any others are with you, please bring them along with you to my chambers. Assemble yourself and I will join you after I make preparations. Confound it! You think that someone who sees the future would be on time. Where is Astrid? Let's get our fortune told and be done with it. Greetings. Now if everyone is here, we can begin. Open my eyes to the future. A sinister darkness. The mighty sea and the voice of sacred light. I see it. I shall speak. Listen with your hearts. Dance with your feet. Um, if you really want to find the ghost ship, Link, you must be ready to clash with the very darkness itself. Knowing that, do you still want to rescue Tetra? Of course, Tetra's bad idiots. Oh, very nice. The honesty in your eyes is crystal clear. Now make haste to the Temple of Fire on the summit of this island. There you must defeat the power of darkness that haunts that place. You will then find what you need to, op uh, need to open the path that lies ahead of you. You will have it within you after our doomed course of events, Link. But the light that seeks your help is growing faint. Please hurry. Power of darkness, eh? Ki hey, kid. I uh, just remembered I have to go to polish the ship's rudder. Later, kid. Sheesh, what's wrong with Lineback? Oh, let's just let him be and hurry to the temple. So here we go. We actually have our first... Uh, Temple, sorry for breaking your pot. That was probably an ingredient in a really cool potion. Well, the fortune tellers aren't alchemists, are they? They can be. I mean, I'm not saying they can't. Like, they can be if they want. So we have to now head to the fire temple, which is going to be probably the first temple on our road here. Yes, it's open now. Okay, we can reach the Temple of Fire at the peak through here. Come on, tap the door and it's open, Link. And now we have a whole new area open. See, the thing I'm, like, most worried about in this game, obviously, is the combat. Um, I think I'll be fine, though. I think I'll be 100% fine. Like, it's not that difficult, in all fairness. Like, and, like, the enemies don't have, like, a shit ton of health, so it's not like they're just they're being unfair with it. Oh, crap. Is this gonna be, like, Death Mountain in Ocarina of Time? Look, the volcano is erupting. Watch out for falling rocks. I'll do... I will not do what I'm told. Okay. I like, I like the simplistic nature of this game, the fact that a whole island is like really small. I don't know, I, I like that a lot. I don't know what it is. It just feels really good. That must be the temple, but the entrance is sealed. There's probably a, a word, or a puzzle. Oh, wait. Would you keep going, I guess? Is probably the best bet. Whenever you're in trouble, keep going. Is this a key? You got a red rupee worth 20 rupees. That is actually pretty valuable. So we have to like hug the wall as well just in case I fall off. Oh, because this is, this is going to read, we're going to read this. Blow out the flames, illuminate the path ahead. Are you serious? What? No. Oh my God, I forgot about this. Okay, I have to, I guess I have to fake them. No? Maybe I, maybe I just got lucky. Okay, no, you just have to aggressively blow it. That's really funny. Now we can enter the temple. We did, Link. Let's go face up to the power of darkness. So we're in our first temple. Oh, so hot. Oh no, there are flames everywhere. You better not touch them. Don't go burn yourself, Link. There we go, we got another one of these. Ah! Da, da, da. Oh my god, this is gonna be a bit difficult to navigate. The one thing that, like, Minish Cap is, like, great. The one thing that, like, like I could do without is how the fire hits you. Like, the f way the fire hits you in this game is fantastic, right? Just a little bit of a hit. Link gets a little bit of a singe. And, like, then he goes, ah, get, 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 and then leaves it, you know what I mean? Oh my god, this- I kind of remember this dungeon. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's actually pretty dark, the way he fell in. Um, so we have map. Don't make, uh, don't make haste. Make note of the one safe path. Map. Wait, what?
What does this what does this most look like? Can we go floors? We only have the first floor. This is oh it, there. That's there. So it's Rice? This is where they want us to go? I'm gonna say it's that. I'm, I'm just gonna say that's the, that's the safe path. Hmm, I wonder what that means, but let's make note of it. Go ahead and copy that. Yeah, I did. I did. Don't worry. Don't worry, Celia. You're, you're badass for letting me, rem like, reminding me, though. Here we go. Time for a fight. You can tell by the door. Okay, there's, like... But yeah, like, I like, I like the small, like, the, I, like, not small, is that smallness a word? I like the, like, how small the game is. Like, it's, 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 it's a bit refreshing when you compare it to the other Zelda games, which are gigantic, you know? And, like, you know, it gives you the best of both worlds, I guess. And, like, I, I kind of wish I had a DS when this came out. I think I would have loved this game when it came out. Was it, uh, is it Ayanuma who named this his favorite Zelda game? I know that Reggie fils Oh, God, yes, I know how to do this. I know Reggie fils uh, wrote that his favorite Zelda game of all time is Link to the Past, I think it is? Well, he said in an interview anyway, he didn't write it. Okay, so if we go this way. You could wing this. You could wing you could wing that and like not get it, and like get it pretty accurately, I think. Like I don't think that would have been too much of an issue. Okay, we can move over here. Um, move to here. Oh, God. We could have moved to there, but we did. Okay. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it eventually. So now that open. What did that do again? <laughs> it did something. Oh, no. It opened this. Okay, so we can go up this way. It did good. Second floor. And now there's like a thing running around with a key. My favorite thing. Okay, gotta be careful here. I gotta be careful not to fall. Okay, and this opens up this, so we can go down here this way and then go out the top here? Yeah. Perfect. These things are gonna get harder to kill as time goes on, or maybe they might get easier. I think that's what happens in the Zelda games, like, thing, things get harder, but you get better as, like, a player. Because remember Skyward Sword, I was horrible. And then as time went on, I became better and better, I think. I think the last episode... Not, I wouldn't say I was, like... Did that do anything? These things are funny though. I kind of like creatures like that. It reminds me of Flubber. You know the movie Flubber? Did you guys ever see Flubber? Robin Williams. I'll take this wherever's in here. You got the boomerang. This item allows you to... Oh, really cool. A boomerang... I know how to... No, throw it. First tap the, uh, the item icon to equip the boomerang. Okay. Um, then just draw a line and it will follow the flight of path straight or curvy. Give it a try. Very cool. That's really cool. Okay. I guess we have to throw it through the fire here. Or maybe not. Maybe we just have to use it somewhere else. In fact, I actually think there will be like a place we'll have to use this. We could probably use it on that thing, but then there's no point. Let's try down here. I love the, the sound Link makes when he does that. It's hilarious. Yeah, let's save. Why not? Let's save. There was no point to this. Um, maybe we move a little bit closer and do it again. Am I missing something completely? Let's check the other end. 
I'll take the- I'll take the fire hits. I'll take the fire hits. They're fine. Um... Did I miss something? I probably missed something entirely here. Yeah, I, I, I missed something up top. Let's go back up top. There's a reason they gave us the, the thing up there. It was to do something with it anyway. Okay, so we're back up. Okay. Okay, we'll go down, Link. There's definitely, there's, def there's definitely something to do with that. Oh, oh my god, Link. If you want to stay upstairs, like, it's okay. <laughs> it's a stylus. It's a stylus. It's not that- it's not the easiest thing in the world to control. Um, so when we're down here... Oh, just- oh, there we go. Sorry, that was- that was really silly of me. And it, it gives you a hitting sound to tell you when you hit it as well, which is good. What's over here, Zelda? And you get the heart! Oh, that's really good. That's really good. This is a really cool innovation, I think, of the the heart or the heart thing, Majigger. Okay. I mean, get two at a time. But first, we have to like. And that puts out that fire. See, everything is working out very well, and also this boomerang is one of the coolest weapons in the whole freaking game, or in any Zelda game. The fact that you can use the Silas to actually move it around is freaking fantastic. I wonder can we use this to stun these guys? We can. That's perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna end the uh, video here, and then we're gonna continue on with this dungeon. I think we might be able to finish the dungeon in the next one, and I will see you all very soon. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm.